Oh, come on. Got him, dude, right there. I mean, if you need a trip where you can just get a pile of hook sets like this. Right there, man. Welcome back to another video. It is day on the road, unknown at this point, and uh, we're getting tired. The mine doesn't seem quite as crisp as it did on days one, two, and three of this trip, and uh, you can tell the, the ice fishing grind takes it out of you. My computer broke last night, so there's gonna be no video. Normally, I would've posted a video this morning, but uh, I don't have a computer anymore, so I'm gonna have to get home and solve that issue. Man outlasted machine. That's the moral of that story. But um, we're loaded up the truck out here, last day, staying out here near Devil's Lake at uh, Dakota Sunset Resort. Loaded up the truck. Um, I'm gonna make one more pit stop back here, but probably stay here tonight, and then uh, hightail it back to Wisconsin in the morning. Um, but we're in the dark right now. Obviously, it's still the pre-dawn hour outside. Loaded up the truck. We're gonna go jump in the truck, dump the snowmobile, go out catch walleyes today. That's as simple as a plan as plans can be, right? There's nothing to it. So, um, stay tuned. Should be a good video. I don't know what's our temperature outside today. We can take a look. That's always kind of the deciding factor if I can run around or if I'm going to uh, have to just like camp down. What do we got? We got today, the high is nine. Um, winds light and variable. There's the, there's the icing on top right there. Um, winds light and variable. Yeah, high of nine. It is negative two out right now. Slight chance of snow. As good as it gets, I guess, right? Can't complain about that. So with light and variable winds, I should be able to run around outside and maybe keep a camera on. And uh, even though it's gonna be cold, we should be able to get it done. If I can run and gun, you guys know me, I'd much rather film outside than I would in a shack. So um, that's the plan. If we get cold, maybe we'll throw the shack up or if the cameras get cold, we'll do that. And hopefully just smash a whole bunch of North Dakota walleyes today. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome trip so far. And if we can cap it off with another awesome day today, job well done so stay tuned let's jump in the truck head to the lake launch the bearcat catch walleyes good morning what is going on guys we are back hopefully with another good video today and uh, we already did the intro that's how you know i'm getting tired of the on the road ice fishing lifestyle but uh, we're finally on the ice now. A little bit of a run out, nice light little snow this morning, and it uh, should be a good day. It's still a lot darker out than I thought it would be, but that's all right. Essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna run around, hope to find some fish. And uh, each day I've been here, I've been fishing like a different area. So it's taken me a percentage of generally the day to kind of find the fish in that zone essentially so um same is true today we're fishing we're just parked on a little point where have not been yet on this trip and uh we're gonna see what happens now a lot of times this time of day you maybe want to look at those little bit shallower sweet spots so i think i got us parked at about 11 feet here right now and uh, a lot more of my fishing has been done a little bit deeper than that but a lot of times if you take a big spot that kind of maybe has a, a longer plateau section 18 20 feet then breaks out to base and and you're catching fish there during the day, a lot of times you can just slide into it farther and find the shallower sweet spot, the shallower crown, and set up there for these kind of flash bite morning, evening windows where the fish might not be that shallow the rest of the day. So with that being said, let's drill a couple holes with the Strike Master and uh, start jigging some walleyes, hopefully. All right, we are probably kind of entering the time where the fish are actually gonna start biting today. Not much of a night bite, but we're gonna go real aggressive right off the bat here with a big old gnarly blade bait. Quarter ounce Acme V-Rod. The best blade bait possibly of all time. I've caught some fish on it ice fishing, but even open water, this thing in quarter three ace is just an absolute destroyer. And a lot of times in this morning or evening period, you can get away with fishing a little bit more aggressive presentation, which is exactly what we're gonna do then if those fish slow down a little bit in the middle of the day you know then you kind of go to that that little bit softer spoon touch or something like that but for now if we can get it done on a blade bait 
We will, and I have not fished it yet over here, so we'll kind of get a good read on how aggressive these fish really are. Right there. Number one. Decent walleye, decent walleye. He wasn't going to come off. And we're using that blade bait to start the day. And when they're eating blade baits, about like that, you know it's going to be a good day. Full size quarter ounce Acme V rod down the throat, man. We get it popped off here. Look at that. Bait came right out. There we go. Only a 16 incher, but man, if they all have that attitude towards a blade bait, we're going to have some fun today, aren't we? See you later, buddy. Perfect eater if you're going to eat one. But uh, we'll let that guy go as we got a lot more to catch today. And as kind of anticipated what happens on a lot of these, these systems like this is you don't really get a lot of a night bite. So if you get here way too early like I did, you just sit on the snowmobile for about 40 minutes and you just don't mark anything. And then all of a sudden, about this time of day, what time is it right now? It's 8.15. These fish will start showing up, hopefully in big numbers. But there we go. Number one on the blade bait. Kicking the day off right with a real aggressive one. Got him. Right there. Did you guys see how ferocious that bite was? <laughs> I mean, just angry, man. Angry. Look how they're eating that bait, dude. That is crazy, isn't it? So now I gotta take my glove off to unhook them, unfortunately. We might just throw the shack up just to make filming a little bit more simple. But uh, there's obviously some fish around, which is a good sign. We just need those, those little bit bigger ones to start showing up. But we got all day. There we go. Another 15, 16er going back. Lots of those fish that size, man, out here. Right there, man. Dude, just fish after fish after fish. And they all fight hard and just smoke baits, man. There's another nice one right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Probably the fattest, chubbiest one of the day so far. But man, dude, I, I mean, it's, we have not been fishing long, obviously. And I'm already losing track of fish, our fish count. I've caught a bunch of smaller ones, which I'm not even obviously putting in the video. But look at all these just fat, perfect eaters right there, man. How are you going to beat it? There we go. And for those of you guys that care, I'll throw a piece up on the wall right now up on kind of exact cadence and rigging for the V-Rod, kind of an in-depth deep dive. And uh, since it is such a productive tool today, and um, find that simply get on the wall right now, available on Google Play in the App Store. Get down, hit Let's Go Fishing at the bottom, and uh, select Ice, then it'll be under presentation, because obviously blade baits a lot of places great way to catch a walleye but a lot of it has to do with cadence how you're working that bait and all that kind of good stuff oh come on got him dude right there just switched up for a second, went to the spoon, just to see what they do to that. And sure enough, oh yeah, another nice one, dude. We are just crazy good fishing. Crazy good fishing, man. That is a nice quality fish right there. About a 18, 19. And we're getting it done, dude. Outside, doing the whole hopping thing. <laughs> Does it get any better than that right there? I mean, if you need a trip where you can just get a pile of hook sets like this, get out here, North Dakota, Devil's Lake, Dakota Sunset Resort. Phenomenal place to launch point to fish out here. And obviously there's just a pile of fish to be caught. 
and uh, we all kind of get to that point where you end up like working really hard to catch fish in the winter and not to say you don't have to put in the legwork to catch them out here but the reward is many more hook sets and uh it's incredible i needed this trip to go out and just catch a lot i've been doing a lot of bites lately where it's like you're really really putting in the time and the effort to kind of make a video pop and out here it has been a treat to catch as many walleyes as i've caught in the last several days right there dude feeling like another nice fish good head shakes on him good head shakes on him come on bud <laughs> oh my gosh and does it ever get old putting don't even need bait on the spoon and just keep it snapping and popping same spoon i fished yesterday this is the acme rattling cast master and kind of that custom painted goldish color 17 incher and they're all so pretty and perky out here man just thumping them thumping them outside in the cold and it seems like you know i'll catch one fish out of a hole and then it'll kind of slow down there and then i'll just go to the other hole i only got about five holes but it's like the second i get down there in a new hole those fish see that that spoon kind of tumbling down and they just gravitate in on it real hard and i always say this but you know if you're if you're not going to fish bait on a spoon essentially what you want to do is keep it keep it rolling and thumping up above them and really play the, the old keep away game and that's a lot of times how you get them to bite a spoon with no bait on it if you sit it right there in their face and don't really make them chase too hard it's going to be tougher to get bit uh, without bait on so a lot of times just working that spoon a lot of times it's the best way to get to work a spoon a lot of people want to hold it right next to the bottom and do this little thing doesn't work as good you get that thing popping and moving make those fish chase hard much better unbelievable man absolutely unbelievable the sheer volume of nice walleyes we're catching now nothing big yet today but i mean dude every one of them is just a nice quality fish you know it's not like we're dealing with a bunch of 12 inches or 10 inches like a lot of places you go in walleye country right now we're just catching a ton of these 15 to 20s right now one after another man spoon's been a good choice kind of when those fish are a little bit slower that blade bait was good kind of immediately off the bat this morning and kind of that flash bite period but how can you beat it man whole hop and run and gun outside now you could definitely just set a shack up and catch fish too i just kind of prefer to run around if i can and the cameras can take it and uh we're getting it done There we go. That's a little bit better fish right there. That one came up multiple times to bite. Kind of kept backing off. Eventually I just kind of kept the bait closer to the bottom. And he absolutely smoked at that time. <laughs> and there we go, man. Look how he ate that spoon. Gone, dude. You know, I'll call shallow water kind of anything inside of 20 feet for realistically for winter walleye fishing and you know, all of our fishing out here has been you know in that shallow water category and uh that's what makes it fun fish are obviously here and biting anytime you can fight them in the shallower water it is just so much fun dude nothing big yet today but i mean nobody's complaining about just catching piles of 15 to 20 inch fish man unbelievable and now we're doing it out here in the sunshine the snow has kind of stopped a little bit and that spoon right there all about it man they're absolutely loving that color i kind of shuffled different color spoons all the time and a lot of these cast masters they used to have much simpler paint schemes on this year it's almost like they have this whole line of custom painted spoons 
which has been awesome to play around with. Now you just got more options to fish with. And this is kind of that, I'm not gonna call it a custom color because it's standard color, but that gold looking one with just kind of those bars. Anytime you have perch in a system as a primary forage, matching something that has those lateral bars going across it, it's a good idea. I think a lot of times it's probably more about contrast than it is about actual color. Come on. Come on. Got him, dude, right there. Feeling like a nice one. Feeling like another one of those nice 17, 18ers. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> dude, we have caught some serious volume of walleyes on this trip. And it has been an absolute blast. I don't know if there's a whole lot else to say. Pretty much all we're gonna do the rest of the day is just weed through them and hope to find a bigger one in the mix too. But unbelievable trip, unbelievable number of walleyes caught on this one. Absolutely crazy. No shortage of hook sets for sure, man. And it's been a ton of fun. We might, I don't even know if we need to stay the rest of the day, honestly, or if we just go home and get some good quality rest and relaxation. Basically, I've been on the road nearly nonstop since Thanksgiving. So I'm um, traveling and ice fishing and it has been absolutely draining. Obviously a lot of fun, obviously caught a lot of fish, got to see a lot of ice along the way, but uh, it's been taxing on the body and mind. So maybe we'll just catch one more. Maybe we'll just pack up, take you guys back to the truck, shoot a little outro, collect their stuff and hit the high road. All right, back at the lodge. Final farewell from North Dakota. It's been a phenomenal trip. Um, caught a lot of fish. Fished three other locations and filmed videos along the way prior to getting in North Dakota. And uh, North Dakota is just full of walleyes, man. Devil's Lake, phenomenal place. If you're suffering the wintertime blues, get on over here, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Stay with these guys. They were kind enough to let me stay as long as I caught some fish and uh, did some video. Beautiful place though right here on the shores of Devil's Lake, Dakota Sunset Resort. Check them out. Like I said, they were nice enough to stay. Let me stay here and I'll certainly be back. If not this winter, for sure in the summertime, but appreciate you guys watching this string of videos. Um, it's been a lot of fun to make, obviously. It's been a long winter so far on the road, but it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching all the ice fishing content. For those of you that care, we did put a really in-depth Devil's Lake location breakdown, which goes into like spot on the spot on the spot type of detail. Um, so if you're gonna come up here, make sure you get on um, the Walleye Now app and check that video out. It'll be under the presentation side thumbnail, look something like this. So appreciate you guys watch this video. I got an eight hour drive to make this afternoon and uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time.